I'll admit to being weird. I'll admit to being weird. But I was wondering, did ever any of you normal people wonder what a weird person thinks is weird? I mean, if I'm it for you, what's it for me? If you come to me for yours, where do I go for mine? If I'm the bottom line where you're concerned, what's the bottom line where I'm concerned? Sir, you're sitting down there, you're a well-dressed individual with a great big white flower right on your lapel. I want you to know that you look like a normal, fine individual to me, and I want to know, did you ever wonder what somebody like me thinks is weird? Did you ever wonder that? Well, I'm going to tell you. I think it's weird when you're sitting in church and three pews behind you, somebody goes, oh. I always think to myself, what are they going to do with that now? Oh, yeah. I see one of them scratch their ear, you know? That ain't too weird, but when they look at their finger, man, that is weird. And why do they always want to show that to you? Look, no, I don't want to look. Praise God. Or somebody take out their handkerchief and blow their nose. <laughs> then they look at that. What kind of wisdom are they trying to find in there? It must be pretty good, because then they fold it up and keep it, man. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to that till Jesus comes, you know? <laughs> I don't even believe I say some of this stuff, you know what? But I tell you, man, <laughs> weird people worry about things that normal people don't worry about, too, you know? Like, for example, why do people drive on parkways and park on driveways? What is daylight savings time? And if we're saving so much of it, who's got it all? How do you know when yogurt's gone bad? How do you get Teflon to stick to a skillet when nothing sticks to Teflon? How hard would it be to nail jello to a wall? Inquiring minds want to know, you know? It's like flying, for example. People think that's a normal thing to do, to go out to the airport and get, get go out to the airport. <laughs> go out to the airport. <laughs> go out to the airport, get on an airplane, and go somewhere. Do you realize what you're doing? You're getting in a hollow metal tube with wings on it <laughs> under the command of a complete stranger. You're letting this guy take you to 35,000 feet and travel in excess of 400 miles an hour. That's like saying, strap me to this bullet and send me home. <laughs> it's a dangerous and weird thing to do. I travel 385,000 air miles a year. I got so many frequent flyer points, I got an upgrade on the space shuttle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and they say things on the airplane that's supposed to make you feel better, like fasten your seatbelt in case we have an accident. Well, I know if we're falling out of the sky from 35,000 feet at a 70-degree angle heading straight for the ground, and I know we're not going to miss, it's going to make me feel a lot better to know that I got my seatbelt on. <laughs> hey, nothing to worry about. I'm strapped into this wreckage. I'm just sitting there sipping my Coke. The guy next to me is going crazy. Aren't you afraid? <laughs> Why, no, ma'am. I have my seatbelt on. And have you ever heard, <laughs> have you ever heard this one? Well, the cabin has been pressurized for your comfort. In the unlikely event that we should lose cabin pressure, a compartment directly above your head will open and an oxygen mask will fall from the ceiling. If this should occur, please extinguish your smoking material, reach up and grasp a mask, pull it to the full extent of the plastic tubing, which will start the individual oxygen flow. Then place the gold cup over your nose and mouth, adjust the elastic band to fit your head, and breathe normally. <laughs> Fat chance. You've fallen out of the sky from, from 35,000 feet. You're at a 70 degree angle. You're headed straight for terra firma. Now some mercy comes into the situation. The air gets sucked out of the airplane, and you got a chance to pass out before you hit the ground. But the airline wants you to get everything you paid for. So they save your life. This little panel opens up. 
this little mask falls down, but because you're at a 70 degree angle, it doesn't fall straight down in front of you, it falls out here somewhere. And you can't reach it because you got your seatbelt on.